Also, der Regen geht weiter hier am Open Air St. Gallen. Aber jetzt treffen wir einen Sonnenski, einen britischen Sonnenski. Und zwar ist das der Alex Hepburn. Ihre Musik tönt nämlich so. Don't bury me, don't let me down. Don't say it's over, cause that would send me under. Underneath the ground, don't say those words. I wanna live your words can murder. Only you can send me under, under, under. Under ist das sie von der Alex Hepburn, der wo Ovo und Charles Lux kennt das Lied sehr gut. Wie mit dem Lied ist die Frau in die Decke und durch die Decke durchgesprungen. Jetzt ohne weitere Umschweife treffen wir doch die gute alte Dame. Hey, voilà, jetzt sitzen wir da mit der Alex Hepburn. Hallo. Hi. I heard, I heard that you had um, some high heels, actually. I did, before. and I had to. I had to. Now you're doing close up. These are not yeah. my boots. They're a yeah. size 41, and I don't normally have these massive, ugly feet. <laughs> what size have you normally got? 38 and a half. All right, I've got that. Good. That's safe. <laughs> That's good. Also, That's die Dame, die Dame hat dann vorher <laughs> höhere Absätze angehabt. Also so schicklich schon, aber das geht logisch, wie es da am Open Air St. Gallen nicht so gut. Darum hat sie jetzt von irgendjemandem ähm, Gummistiefel ausgelernt. Größe 41, aber eigentlich hat sie es Größe 38, 38,5, aber ist ja alles okay. Jetzt ist sie vorher, hat sie schon gespielt, sie hat ihren Auftritt schon gehabt, hier am OASG. Und jetzt müssen wir hey, wie ist das eigentlich gegangen? So, you had your gig already? I did. It was wicked. I was there. Oh, were you? Really okay, good. thank you. How, how did you thought it was? I like? thought it was amazing. The people are so cool. And yeah. I was just I was just doing other interviews and they were telling me about, because I said, this thing you guys do. The, this oh, hey, That is yeah. so sexy. Oh, it's I don't know why I find that sexy. I was watching them, I was like, It's confusing. Like, all is of it? you guys doing that? Is this is this right? Is this okay? So nice. At the beginning, I was like, is this them booing me? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh, no. no, you wicked. too. So yeah. nice and yeah. just so so like friendly and loving and I don't know. The crowd was sick. Really, really I good. So sick too. is a good word. Just so you know, sick yeah. is yeah. sick is in wicked. Sick is in good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Also, sie hat ähm, ihre Auftritt sa selber auch super gefunden. Auch ähm, das Publikum ist sehr abgegangen. Und wir Schweizer, wir machen das ja das so das Wow. Und das machen nur wir. Das macht kein anderes Land. Sie ist jetzt mega verwirrt. Sie so, ob wir sie ausbühen, ausbühen tun oder so. Aber sie hat gefunden, das ist sehr sexy, das ist sehr sick. Und sick ist ähm, auf, auf Englisch ein sehr ein gutes Wort. Und jetzt ist sie voll am Durst. Die gute Frau. Und wie geht es jetzt eigentlich mit dieser ganzen Geschichte um? So, you're obviously you're everywhere at the moment from like nowhere, you popped out. It was yeah. so cool. So how are you going with like that big fame and everybody wanting some? Um, How's it going for you with that? It's going really well because I don't I'm not quite aware of what's going on and I literally mean that is is like people will be like My mum will call me and go, you're so famous. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm working, mom. like seriously, yeah. I work so hard. Yeah. I'm not, I don't actually see the results. And the mm -hmm. only results I'm getting are people going, okay, you're on this and the charts mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. And then I go, okay, cool. But I still don't really understand in my head what, yeah, you, what you is. You can't see like, no. from a different perspective. I'm literally yeah. not. And I've got no men throwing underwear at me yet. So I'm not, not, I'm not there yet. yet. Wait for it, it will come. <laughs> I bet you'll be like that. But you were also in Switzerland, you were on um, uh, place two. In the charts, yeah, yeah. Where, we were. where were you when you heard about that? We were um, well, I had a number one in Switzerland with the album. Oh, I sorry, well, no, it's all bad right. Research. No, it's okay because Michael Bublé knocked me off the top spot. Oh, how dare you, Michael! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, but it was so cool. It's my yeah. and this country is the first place I ever heard my single on the radio. Wicked! I swear to God, yeah. I was driving. I was with a friend of mine in the car driving to the airport. Yeah. And we just switched on the radio, and I hear, "Don't bury me," and I was yes. like, "Yes." Is that, is that me? Excuse That's me. me. Yeah, it's like so crazy, good. right? In any country, the first place was Switzerland. Wicked. And so, obviously, I kind of leaped out the car, super happy, dancing like, in the streets. Oh, yeah. you've, you've got to do that. You've got to do that. It's such a cool feeling, you know? Yeah. Just like, because you kind of go, oh, wow, like the work, I'm actually getting somewhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that's like that thing yeah. about you can well hear it in that kind of way, yeah. that you are getting somewhere. Yeah. So cool. cool. It cool. does, yeah. Also, die Dame, wie geht's jetzt mit dem grossen Fame um? Sie sagt, sie checkt es gar noch nicht so richtig, weil sie kommt halt nur so mit, wie wenn jemand sagt, hey, du bist aber sie sieht es physisch in dem Sinne noch nicht. Und wenn ihre Mama ihr anruft und so, hey, du bist so berühmt, dann so, sagt sie so, ja, ich bin eigentlich nur am Arbeiten, Mama. Ich weiß eigentlich auch nicht genau, was ich mache. Und dann, da in der Charts ist sie ja voll oben raus. Ähm, gesehen, und ich wollte wissen, wo bist du eigentlich, wo du es erfahren hast. Dann hat sie gesagt, das weiß ich nicht mehr so genau. Aber ähm, ihr Lied, Under, hat sie im Radio als erstes gehört, wo sie da in der Schweiz war. Oder sie hat sie aus dem Auto ausgestiegen und hat tanzt wie eine Wilde. Aber wie geht jetzt eigentlich ihr Umfeld um? Stichwort Mutter. So, like, you know, like your 
personal people like your mum, like you said. Yeah, mom. How they're coping coping with oh, it. My mum is like the proudest mother oh, in the world. Her. Yeah, she's ridiculously proud. Mm. I love her so much. She's mm. one of my closest people. Oh bless her. Uh, yeah, I've only I've only got my mum unfortunately for me, but I and I uh she's just I don't know. I don't think I could have done it unless I, unless this flops next year. Was like, I don't think, and I don't think mm -hmm. it's about it. I think my mom is just so happy because I stopped school like at 15 and a half. Yeah. And I think she was expecting me just to be a complete mess for all that. I think she was thinking, oh, I've really been a bad That's mom. That's it. You know, Sorry. exactly. <laughs> She's like, God, fuck all it. Right, oh but dear. excuse my language. But uh, yeah, it's all right. But, oh, great. Great. Uh, this, whatever Wonderful. you want to say. <laughs> 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 so, um, but then I was like, then this happens mm -hmm. and she's like, I don't know, in tears, literally. Oh, like, you can't. Oh, oh it's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, I love cool. her. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So also, ihr das Mami ähm, freut sich mega fest für sie. Wie sie ist mit 15 aus der Schule raus. Und dann hat ihr das Mami gedacht, so, oh nein, was mache ich jetzt? Jetzt ist meine Tochter mit 15 von der Schule abgegangen. Scheiße, was passiert jetzt mit ihr? Und dann ist das Ganze umgegangen und ihr das Mami freut sich sehr und ist in Tränen gewesen. Also, sie haben wirklich eine sehr gute Beziehung zueinander. Und nochmal etwas, was ich jetzt vorhin gerade vergessen habe, übersetzen. Sie ähm, hat gesagt, ja, sie sind jetzt noch nicht so berühmt, dass Männer ihre Unterhose also auf die Bühne reden, aber es wird sicher auch passieren. Und ähm, da hat sie noch gefunden, der Michael Bublé hat sie von den Charts abgekickt. Aber das nächste Mal wird ähm, das definitiv nicht mehr passieren. So like, you're quite open about your private life. Is, well, is it that or? It, I am. Well, the thing is, the problem is, it's not a problem, but um, I couldn't write about other people's lives because I haven't lived them. So as much as we've got a lot in common, the only way I could actually write music is by basing off the problems and stuff I've lived myself Obviously, yeah. because then I'm being honest and truthful to it. Mm -hmm. So then the other next step is, do you want to go and like make your pub private diary a public mm -hmm. diary yeah. which is really what happened <laughs> and I didn't really have much say in that because yeah. I guess I wrote the songs and then suddenly people were saying to me you realize that you're being very honest with what yeah, you've lived it, it, you are very and, honest, yeah. and, and that most people will sing about someone else for instance they'll go she or you know about that him person, or the other whatever, person yeah. to, to like disconnect from the actual emotional problem they've lived or whatever it is but I genuinely am not ashamed because I feel like I meet so many people, they have lived similar stuff to me, I'm not I'm not unique in, in a way of, okay, maybe certain pa patterns and, and paths are slightly different, but a lot of people I know can identify with the album because they've lived stuff that's similar. And, and, like, and like I said in the interview just before actually, it's like, unfortunately, if you feel that the album is slightly dark, it's because in life, well, my life has had it's been a bit, bit more on the dark side and only now am I, am I coming into You're a, coming like a, back to a brighter, to, to, to perspective. A brighter yeah. perspective because it's just the way like I, whatever I was born yeah. into and the way my life has been but the same thing goes for everyone else so when people I think are identifying with the album they're actually sitting there going oh my god I can feel that because I'm living that or I've lived it or, or someone I care about has lived that and and there isn't just negative stuff there's also like there's a lot of like there's rebellious emotions on the album there's is sexy there's love there's it's very like anger there's, there's a lot everything. of perspe yeah, perspectives it's like a fan kind. of emotions yeah. that's yeah. what I've done that's really nice yeah, yeah it's very I mean I've tried yeah. my best but like I said like people can't like if you don't like, if it's like Marmite you don't yeah. like it yeah. don't eat it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's <laughs> so good also, um, die Dame um, jetzt geht es so darum ich habe jetzt gerade so gefragt ja hey um, du bist recht offen um, mit deinem Leben auf das wir nachher gerade noch näher werden und jetzt ist so gefragt, sie, wieso machst du das? Und dann hat sie gefunden, ja, sie könnte schon über jemanden anders schreiben, irgendetwas anderes erzählen, aber das macht sie nicht. Sie erzählt das von ihrem Leben, was bei ihr passiert ist. Und dann gibt es auch viele Leute, die sagen, so, hey, dieses Album ist ein bisschen dark, ein bisschen dunkel. Dann sagt sie, ja, es war auch so, gewesen, mein Leben. Es war auch ein bisschen dunkel. Gewesen. Aber schlussendlich finde sie auch, dass das Album so ähm, facettenreich ist. Also es hat so, es hat sexy drin, es hat schön drin, es hat schlecht drin, es hat wunderbares Zeug drin, sagt sie. Also einfach so eine Facette von verschiedenen Gefühlen. Aber jetzt nimmt sie mich wundern, ähm, wenn du sagst, eben, dass dein Leben recht dunkel war, was war so für dich so der Punkt, wo I du einfach... Ich nicht spreche. Nein, ich sage es dir. Sorry, es ist okay, es ist okay. Wo war so der Punkt, wo es für dich gekehrt hat? So, like you said, we've had a, we have a, like, a Dark life. That, uh, uh, Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. It's where been was, a bit more rocky. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. was that point where you said it's got to change something? Well, I didn't. I. It's. It's not because I've made. Like I didn't actually make 
my bed, if you know what I mean. Like, so it, I couldn't. I, the, the only way when it changed was literally when, unfortunately, most of my family aren't around anymore. So that's what changed. Uh, and then I was like, wow, I've got nothing but my mum, basically. And then I thought, right now, you just want to look after people that looked after you. And and I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's 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 like I just know that. Also, I guess when the label picked me up, they kind of uh, took me out of, I guess, somewhere where I wasn't. I didn't really see a, a good future. Okay. But I do. Safe by the music, like <laughs> in that kind Safe of music. Yeah. Also, um, die Dame hat viel wissen, wo ist so eben dein Wendepunkt in deinem Leben gewesen? Und sie hat jetzt gesagt, eben, sie hat ein eine tragische Situation gehabt, wo sie schlussendlich ähm, im Leben gestanden ist mit ihrer Mutter. Und dann hat sie einfach so gemerkt, ich kann eigentlich gar niemand mehr anders um mich so gross. Danach ist aber ihr Label gekommen, hat sie so aus dem Ganzen rausgeholt, aus einem Ort, wo sie gesagt hat, da hat sie nicht so viel Zukunft gehabt. Und jetzt ist sie da sozusagen gerettet von der Musik. Und jetzt haben ihr Leute da draussen sie verglichen mit ganz vielen Künstlern. Jetzt schau mal, was sie davon halten. So like, um, about Saved by the Music and all. Like, obviously, obviously Switzerland, you are a big thing at the moment. Yeah. And our oh, viewers, yeah, um, a lot of them said like, they've compared you to Pink. Oh, that's well, cool as well. Is that cool? I mean, uh, like I said, I, uh, the comparison's mm -hmm. always a bit They're of pain. They're always coming, obviously, with the Janis Joplin thing and all. But like, okay. I guess I'm happy people aren't comparing me to bad singers. <laughs> it's always a Could good be thing. Worse, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I really, I, I just think the problem is, is everyone grows up. Like my influences, also maybe like the artists people compare me to have the same influences as me. It's really possible, and then that's why. But they're too closer to my age group. Yeah. To be, you know. Does it, does it some of the times get on your nerves, like when people oh, come and say? I, I would have loved people to go. Oh, you sound like Alex Hepburn, <laughs> <laughs> and not like Pink and if Janice yeah. and Pink had a baby. It's me. <laughs> yeah, that is. True. <lacht> oh, Alright, ich denke das. Also eben, ich habe sie ja mit Pink verglichen, die gute Dame. Und dann hat sie gefunden, das ist geil, weil sie ist eine gute Sängerin, aber eigentlich hätte sie es lieber, wenn man einfach sagen würde, ich bin Alex Hepburn. Ich bin eine Pink, die jetzt gerade ein Kind bekommen hat, wie sie jetzt gerade bemerkt hat. <lacht> Sondern einfach mehr Alex Hepburn an sich. Und jetzt ist sie da an dem Festival als Alex Hepburn. Und sie sind sie wundern, hey, gehst du jetzt noch in den Schlamm oder bleibst du da? Was machst du jetzt eigentlich noch genau, meine Liebdame? So now, obviously, your gig's over. Yeah. So what are you up to now? Are you like going out into the mud or are you like more the kind of person that will just stay here in the warm place on the sofa. Well, I want to go out into the mud if I'm really honest, but the <laughs> problem is, is I've got to leave in like an hour. No, I'm don't going, go, no, Alex, no, I stay don't. Here. I want to stay. I do. I really do. But I've got <laughs> tomorrow. I've got a gig as well, so I've got to. Right. I know. I'm so upset about it. I got here last night, and I was literally like, "This is really cool." I got oh, a nice hotel, you. everything, okay. and I just know I'm leaving like so soon. What so pity. disappointed. Yeah. You have no idea. Oh dear, no, also, no. die Dame was so much fun, isn't yeah. it? The people you and all that. should have gone out. Sort of run into the mud. Yeah, and just like slither <laughs> around. Exactly. Slither around in the mud. What's up? <laughs> yes, we. Yeah. No. Doing also, it though. Oh dear. Also, die Dame kommt nicht mit in Schlamm. Leider, sie würde eigentlich gerne mitkommen. Aber ähm, sie bleibt jetzt nur noch eine Stunde da und dann muss sie leider schon weiter zum nächsten Gig. Aber sie hat gesagt, sie würde eigentlich voll gerne da bleiben, weil sie hat ein gutes Hotel und eben die Stimme ist auch sehr cool. Und nächstes Mal haben wir gefunden, gehen wir einfach in den Schlamm. Das nächste Mal dann, wenn sie wieder da ist. Also darum, äh, ja, danke vielmals, dass du da bist. Und äh, wir sehen uns das nächste Mal. So, thank you very much. <lacht> thank you. I was thinking you going, I don't know what you mean. I don't like. know what you're saying, but no. <lacht> I have to learn now. But you're, yeah, next time, for next time. Oh yeah, we'll really good. for next time. Yeah, but you've got great, I, I love the fact that you've got this little English accent and you switch into Swiss. Oh, uh, that's, that's how I roll. Very that's cute. my job. Yeah. Also, eben, ich kann gut hin und her wechseln von Deutsch ins Englisch, hat sie jetzt gerade aber eben. So, thank you very much for Thank you interview. very much. And um, have a good day, no? You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't this love When it hurts so much I don't need this love Sometimes it ain't enough I feel 